Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe my channel if you do not want to miss a single lecture of this series. Today we will discuss about two photon microscopy. So before starting two photon microscopy, you must learn the mechanism of fluorescence. That is the Jablonski diagram. I have a separate video on this. If you are not done with it, please have a look on that. I am providing the link in the description box. Now why do we need two photon microscope? Okay. So single photon confocal microscopy can only penetrate a tissue to about 200 micrometer. Okay. Then what's about the thicker tissue? So, two photon confocal microscopy can penetrate a tissue to about 1 millimeter. But how is it possible? So, two photon microscopy uses higher wavelength and lower energy light. Higher wavelength light penetrates tissue more deeply. Lower energy light is less damaging and therefore especially useful when working with living samples. Now we should know where from this higher wavelength light come. Now look at the Jablonski energy diagram. Here one photon fluorescence process involves exciting a fluorophore from the electronic ground state to an excited state by a single photon. This process requires photon in the ultraviolet or blue green spectral range. In two photon microscopy, the same excitation process can be generated by the simultaneous absorption of two less energetic photons that is typically in the infrared spectral range and infrared lights have longer wavelengths. Hence, two photon excitation wavelengths are typically larger than the one photon excitation wavelengths as the two photons combine to excite a single fluorophore. Larger the wavelength, smaller the energy. In order to happen this event, two photons should hit the fluorophore simultaneously. Therefore, all emitted light comes from one focal point in the specimen that strongly reduces background noise. Now, let's talk about the light path. The light path consists of the light source or laser, specialized mirror, dichroic mirror, objective lens, Sample, again objective lens, dichroic mirror, emission filter, ocular lens and detector. But how does it work? A laser emits infrared light beam. The beam passes through two mirrors that control its movement along the x and y axis of the tissue. Then the beam passes through the dichroic mirror. The beam focuses tissue through the objective lens. The emitted fluorescence then redirected by the dichroic mirror through the objective lens to the ocular lens and detector. Look at the image now. Bright image is formed against the dark background. Background is dark because fluorescence comes only from the specimen and no light is passed from the background. So the background looks absolutely dark. Now let's talk about the advantages of two photon microscopy. Two photon microscopy is an excellent method to study the dynamic behavior exhibited in life cell imaging. The sensitivity of two photon microscope is very high. It has high degree of specificity. That means it can distinguish the fluorescence from the non-fluorescence material. 
different molecules can be stained with different colors hence allows multiple molecules to be tracked simultaneously it could be used for both in in vitro and in vivo imaging it eliminates background noise the depth of field can be controlled here 3d image can be generated restrict ex excitation to a tiny local uh, focal volume in thick samples hence no out of focus emission light can come it requires no pinhole aperture thus minimizing signal loss the reduced damage to the cells it has uh, some disadvantages or limitations so the first one is photo bleaching photo bleaching is a phenomena where fluorophores lose their ability to fluoresce as they are illuminated one more disadvantage is that two photon microscopy uh, only allows observation of the specific structures which are labeled for fluorescence it has the re less resolution the resolution of a microscope system is inversely proportional to the wavelength of light used so that's all about two photon microscope hope you understood the concept if you liked my lesson please do like comment and share my video thank you